Hey coders, in the last episode, I've created this Christmas tree animation using only HTML5 and CSS3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a static website like this onto Google's Firebase hosting. So let's start. What is Firebase? Firebase is a website developed by Google that can provide you with limited free hosting for your website or application. So if we go here to the pricing plans for Firebase, we can see that you can start for free, then pay as you go. If you sign up, you have by default this part plan. It's designed for hobbyists. We can just upload some demo projects. You can have a real-time database, a cloud firestore. You can have storage, phone authentication, hosting. For now, we are going to use only the hosting part. So let me show you how it works. First, you need to log in with your Google account right over here at the top and click on this, go to your console. If you don't have a Google account, then you need to create one. After going to this Firebase dashboard, you can select this Add Project button. And here, let's type in the project name. I'm going to name it Christmas. And it automatically generates me a project ID of Christmas 30638. That's going to be my URL. You can choose here different locations, but I chose United States and US Central because inside my country I don't have some Firebase features. I'm going to accept these and I'm going to create project. Now let's click continue and it takes us to our project dashboard. We are going to go here to the hosting part and click on this get started. Here it will give you information how to install Firebase on your computer. But before you do this, first you need to go and download Node.js and download the latest version and install it. If you don't know how to do this, I've created a tutorial for this and you can check it out. I'm going to leave a link at the top. After you install Node.js, then you can do this step. So let's click finish. So it creates us our hosting. Now let's go to our project and I navigated here to my D drive to my projects folder and I'm going to choose this Christmas project that I did in the last video. I'm going to open it up with Visual Studio Code and inside Visual Studio Code I'm going to drag up the terminal because we are going to use it. Inside this terminal I'm going to write npm install minus g Firebase dash tools. This will install Firebase tools on your computer. I'm going to fast forward this because it takes a lot of time. The next step is to log in to Firebase. So now we can use Firebase login. Enter. It says that I'm already logged in. You need to follow the instructions. It will open up a window for you where you will select your Google account, log in with that Google account. After you logged in, we are going to go here to our project and create a new folder, public. And I'm going to move the index to the public folder and the style to the public folder. This is because we are going to upload this public folder to Firebase. After this, we are going to type Firebase in it. This will initiate Firebase inside our project. So let's hit enter. Are you ready to proceed? And I'm going to type yes, enter. With up and down arrow keys, I can move this. And with space, I'm going to choose hosting. When I choose hosting, it will show me this star sign. Hit enter. And here it will ask me to select the project. Say I'm going to create a new project at the end. Hit enter. And I'm going to choose public. This folder that I created before, hit enter. No, I don't want it to be a single page application. So I hit no. It says that index.html already exists. Overwrite it and say no. We want to use the same index. Now we need to use this Firebase use minus minus add, enter. And we are going to choose our Christmas folder that we just created. This is our Christmas folder. So we are going to select this first one, hit enter, and it asks us if we want to give it an alias. I'm going to choose Christmas, enter, 
and our areas was created and our project is linked. All we need to do now is type in Firebase deploy and this will upload our files to the server and that's it. You don't need to do anything else. To open up our project, we go here and we click on this domain inside our hosting and there we go. You can take this link out and share it with whoever you want. Now you see that you have a URL that has firebase.com inside of it. If you want to change this, you need to go back here to your hosting and select connect domain and you need to buy a custom domain for yourself. If you have a custom domain like example.com, then you can redirect people to this domain. So if you don't have a domain, you can buy one if you go to GoDaddy and type in the required domain that you want to buy or you can go to HostGator domains and over here you can buy one uh, .com or whatever you want. I'm going to leave the links to these websites in the description so you can go and check it out. After you bought the domain you can come back here and insert it and follow the steps. Okay so this is it for this tutorial. We learned how to upload our static HTML website to Firebase Hosting and how to deploy it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.